Hey everyone, it's me Suchita. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. Today in this video, I am going to talk about some primary maths activities. Yes, these are the activities you can include in your class to make the class pretty much interactive. Nowadays, it is very important to include some activities during your lesson. So let's discuss today some number uh, activities plus some addition activities. So. Let's start today's video. If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing and press the bell icon so that you'll get notification regarding any new coming video. And also follow me on Instagram so that you keep on getting notification what is the coming video and what is already there on the channel. So let's start. The first video which I'm going to talk about is about recognition of patterns, shape plus counting. For that, what need you need to do, you need to take a few color papers like uh, maybe this size uh, color chart papers and keep the color different like blue, black, white, purple like that you keep the colors and then you need, you know, the building blocks which children used to play. So uh, take that building blocks of different colors. Now you call the children one by one, ask them to uh, put the same shape, same color of, uh, of a building block on the paper which is matching their color. So in that way you are making them familiar with the color plus you they will check like you know the same symmetry of uh, building blocks we are segregating. At the end when the child will able to segregate the building blocks according to their color and shapes then you can ask them to count them in white paper how many building blocks are there blue paper how many building blocks are there like that you can ask them to count so this is a very interactive activities and this is a good way to make them familiarize with the numbers second one is a missing number activity for this you need uh, the wooden sticks and the colorful wooden sticks what you need to do you need to write down the uh, number on the wooden sticks and you can miss any number for example you miss 3 and 5 number now you write number 3 and 5 to another shape wooden stick and then ask the child where these two wooden sticks 3 and 5 are going to fix among these series so in that way you able to uh, like you know make the child familiarize about the missing numbers and in that way they try to fit and ask them to count one two three now they able to find out yes it's fit properly among the given numbers next very wonderful activity is a puzzle activity what you need to do you need to print one picture and at the back of it you write down the numbers one two three four five six and then cut the picture uh, by keeping the number in mind now the child has to connect the number one with the two then three then down four five six in that way the child able to make a picture at the back and then he can judge like you know if you know the counting properly then you can see at the back the picture is properly arranged or no or if the number is arranged or not properly then the back side the picture will be like you know not exact so this is a very fun loving activity and my children really love it so this is a good way to make them familiarize to check their understanding about the numbers plus you are including the art and creativity in that for next activity you need one dice the number dice which we use to play ludo Plus you need a uh, few small uh, chart papers on that you write down the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then what you need to do you ask the child to throw the dice and he'll check how many dots are there on the dice if it's 1 the child need to uh, put his end on number 1 then if the dice he'll throw they get number 6 then he need to put the hand on number 6 in that way you are uh, like you know cross checking the numbers like the numbers from in between he able to recall it's not like sequence you are asking you are asking them like different uh, random numbers so you are checking the better understanding of numbers by this math next one is a spinning wheel what you need to do for the spinning wheel uh, you write the numbers on the spinning wheel and then you just uh, roll the wheel and you need to check okay two number is there the child will write two then again he will spin the wheel then maybe three number come then he will write plus three and now now you ask how much is the total so this is a good way like everybody will get the th turns they will come in front they will check and they try to add in that way you can take them out from the boring addition traditional method for the next one you need to take a partition plate in the one section of the plate you need to put uh, like you know two balls the second section you put maybe three balls and then ask the child in the third section what will be the total so the child will count the balls one two three four five and then he will write five here so you know that two 
plus 3 equals to 5. So this is also a very good method and these all are the activities we can which you can do with the zero cost because all these uh, things which are pretty much quickly available at your home and you can use them easily. I hope you like the video this is a short video but very useful if you like the video give me a thumbs up motivate me stay healthy stay safe keep growing in your career bye bye.